and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today I'm going to do a walk around video presentation for you of this 2010 Kia Cerato Coupe SLS. Had to remember what I was doing then. Now as you can see in red, today we're going to go through the condition of the paintwork for you, the interior features and show you why this is such a lovely looking car. As you can see in this bright red, really stands out on the road and matched with the black in the middle of the grille and the bumper down the front there and the black around the fog lamps really really giving it that nice styling there very nice slims headlights there looking quite sort of aggressive styling there and looking at the condition of the front bumper bar really really good no stone chips or anything that I can see looking at our bonnet we do have a few stone chips that have been touched up along it and then coming around to the front guard now looking there and having a good look at it in really good condition Looking at our alloy rims here, no scuff marks or anything that I can see. A little bit of, I don't know what that is. Well, there's silicon spray left, that's for sure. A um, little bit of uh, the sort of chrome finish mo uh, missing. And then great tyres there. And then having a look as we look along here, great condition. We've got our nice colour-coded mirror with our indicators in there. Being a coupe, nice big door on the side with our chrome handle and looking at our windows nicely tinted too as you can see and looking at the condition of the paintwork as we come down the overall condition really really good and having a look up on the roof too the condition of the paintwork on the roof really really good there we do have our sunroof uh, as well <coughs> excuse me and looking at our rear alloy rim the overall condition very good it is missing a little bit of the uh, well that silver started to flake off so it's not chrome it's a bit of a grey there great tyres on the back as well plenty of depth there and then coming around to the back of the vehicle now having a look you can see starting at the bottom we've got our twin exhaust pipes there you can see we've got our Serato coupe badging with our nice tail lights in there in the boot now the other thing too is because I'll just grab the key I had the car running with the aircon on and we'll pop the boot for you so that you can see the condition inside, nice and easy with your button just to hop, push and hold. And then having a look inside here, an absolute massive boot really. You can see right in, plenty of room inside there. We've got our cover over our spare wheel, which does appear to be a full size spare wheel. Uh, not sure, and it is an alloy down there as well, so really good. Got our jack and tools there, which is really nice. It's so nicely stored away and nice to know that you do have a full size alloy wheel there. You can see we've got our little seat clips here so we can actually pop the back seats. You can see having a look through, they are a 60-40 split on the back seats, which is really handy if you need something just slightly longer to go into the boot there. And then nice and easy, just pop down shut. Coming around as we flow through now, looking to the left hand side of the vehicle, and looking at the condition overall so far, really good. Having a look at our left rear alloy rim, the overall condition seems to be very good there. Great tyres once again on there. And then looking as we're coming further down, the overall condition of the paintwork around the outside of this car. We've got just a small mark on the door there. But the overall condition really good. Looking at the front alloy rim, just a minor gutter rash there. And then once again, fantastic tyres there too. Now as we come back around to the front of the car, I'm going to pop the bonnet for you. And go through the uh, stats under here for you of our fantastic, I believe they are a two litre four cylinder in these, which is really good. Popping the bonnet open, we do have up on the bonnet, you've got your nice your get boot strut there, or bonnet strut, sorry, to hold the bonnet up. And then you can see under there, we do have our four cylinder two litre engine, which is going to produce a very impressive 115 kilowatts of power and 194 newton metres of torque. Now all this is coupled with a six speed automatic. So you're going to get an average of 7.7 .7 litres per 100 kilometres out of this vehicle running, uh, which works out to be around about 675 kilometres of travelling out of our 52 litre tank. All right, now to the inside of our Kia Cerato. Starting on the driver's door, you'll see we've got our nice sort of leather infill through to the top of the door, our red stitching along the armrest here. We've got our two window controls, our door lock button and our mirror controls. So nice and easy to use. We've got our door lock up here as well as our nice handle. 
Turning the steering wheel to the right, you'll see we've got uh, two keys with this car and two remotes, which is really nice. Our dash illumination and also our traction stability control down the bottom. Coming up from there, you'll see on our right-hand stalk, we do have auto headlights, as well as having our fog lamp controls there too, which is really nice. On the left-hand side, we've got our wiper controls, which is really nice and easy to use. And having a look at the steering wheel, good condition there. On the right hand side of it we do have our cruise control which is fairly easy and simple to use with our up to set, oh sorry down to set, up to resume. And then on the left hand side we have our stereo control so we've got our plus and minus, we can go through our stations, our mute button and our mode button there. Coming across to the middle you'll see we've got a nice digital readout at the top there for our clock, our hazard light button with our piano black finishing around the stereo system there. We do have our CD at the top and then you can see FM AM radio, CD, AUX port and all our hard buttons for our radio stations which is really nice. We've got our digital climate control here so you can see as we adjust our temperature so you can set that. On the left hand side we do have our fan controls and to be able to turn the system off. On the right hand side we've got our mode to go through where we want the air to come out and also having our fresh air research button. We've got our rear demister on the right hand side there too. And then coming down from there, plenty of storage at the front here. You also see we've got our iPod USB port there, our auxiliary port and a 12 volt charge point which is really handy. Our nice transmission shifter here so we can pop it down. We've got our reverse sensors when we put it into reverse and then popping it into drive we can go across into sports mode and drive it like a manual which is really nice. We've got our two cup holders, our handbrake lever, our nice centre console here lifting our lid opens to a nice small storage and then popping that open opens up into a much larger storage unit there and then as we have a look around you'll see the red stitching on our seats which is really nice right around the back of the car there the overall condition really good it does look like it may have had kids seats sitting in there against the back of the seats there uh, but overall condition of the vehicle inside really really good so far and the other thing too I'll touch on for you is the service history on the car so you can see here the 15,000's done, done a, another service at 22,000 kilometres, they've done the next one at 35,000 kilometres, they've done a 45, and then we've done a service when we got the car at 54. So you're not going to be due to spend any money on servicing this car anytime soon. Alright, so that's our walk around video today of this 2010 Kia Cerato Coupe. I hope you've enjoyed the video, as you can see the overall condition of the car, really really good condition paint wise around the outside of the vehicle, the interior very nicely looked after there too, good service history and great fuel economy. So if you've got any more questions please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 055 and thanks very much for watching.